Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 as Brittany. When we last le when we la ah! when we last left off, I keep messing that up. Um, we were the 14th best power in the world, great prestige and industry. Not really too good military, but that's fine. Um, Germany and France are in this big war over here. We're allied with France, Sweden, and Belgium, and two of those nations are in a war together, but we're not for some reason. France did not call us in, but yeah, Germany, Austria, France, actually, let's look at the diplomacy, um, Germany, Britain, Denmark, and Netherlands against Austria, France, and its puppets, so, it's a huge war, so let's just see where that goes eventually, but other than that, um, weird border over here, Colombia's being invaded by Grand Colombian Nationalists, uh, Paraguay, this war down here with Chile, apparently. Bolivia. Um, Ottomans took a bit of Egypt, but not really too much else has gone weird. So let's just keep going, actually. Um, see, who else is uh, France have sphered? It's probably here. Um, let's see, Tunis, no. Luxembourg we can, but that's pretty weird. Sardinia, Piedmont, or Papal States, or two Sicilies probably would be the best because they're also sphered by France. Okay, so let's go with the Papal States because they're the closest. 41, so let's improve relations. France seems to be winning quite handedly, but Britain is invading now. So, that's pretty big, um, Britain's invasion, but this big battle over in Chalons is... Uh, has France winning. France is winning up here as well. Britain's winning over in Amins, but I should stop pronouncing names because they're always wrong. Anyways, uh, rich, no tax at all. Middle, 40%, that's fine. No tariffs. Destruction. See, in production, what do we have? Well, we don't have enough steel, first of all. So that could be a problem. What are we encouraging? Workers, craftsmen. Maybe we should encourage consumer goods. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, I guess. As long as we have some good. And right now, um, we're producing a lot. Wow, look at that British Navy. Wow. Anyways, we're producing a lot of guns as it is. Our two factories are um, a cannon, artillery, and small arms. But... So maybe we want to focus on weapons, but we're not really going to be a huge military nation. So those can't help us specifically, but we could export them. So that could be good. Our main exports are grain, fish, and fabric. Let's see, where's artillery? So small arms, we have this. Not in high demand, though. Artillery is in high demand. Let's expand this fort. Norway has good relations with the UK. Um, UK expands south to Georgia. A few other things. North Germany is definitely losing this war. France is invading from the west and Austria from the east. France has some divisions over in eastern Germany. That's a bit weird. But, okay, so technology. You may want to start um, building guards, but I guess we don't really need to. Naval base next level would be really good. We actually may want that... But first, we want to see what we need to colonize. So, breech-loaded rifles. That's actually the best thing. So, let's do that. Because if we get breech-loaded rifles, then we can start colonizing. And we can only colonize two provinces. So, we want to make sure we get one of these two. But then again, they're not really the best provinces. So, hopefully, people won't take them. Getting over 700 people a month. Well, 600. It's going down a bit, but still... Hopefully, people from France flock over to our nation because of the war, but then again, there's not really too many um, uh, sieges in France. So let's look at a few other things here. Infrastructure, we don't really need that. Um, population density in our nation. Again, mainly these two provinces are the most populous, 180, 173,000. Our capital is at 129, which is the second least populous behind uh, Vannes here. 
So it's kind of weird for capital to be like that. But um, migrations, we don't really have too many major migrations. Look at all the immigrants to Uruguay. That's weird. Okay, that was my phone, sorry about that. Um, Portuguese fear the Dutch. Russia expands. Um, Portuguese like the North Germans. But they are definitely losing that war, so... That's a thing. Dred Scott decision. So, the United States is half of Texas, New Mexico, and Utah. It's not of California or Nevada or Arizona or the second half of Texas, but they do have that. Let's see where slavery is here. Slavery is in New Mexico. Um, not in Kansas. It's in Oklahoma, it's in Texas, and it's in New Mexico. 15% of the soldiers in New Mexico, or 15% of the workforce is soldiers. Don't know why I'm looking over in the United States right now, but there's really nothing else to do. Okay, there is a war between Mexico and the United States again. Mexican Salt Lake City region. So yeah, I tried to mess with the... Um, like the values but it didn't really work I tried to make it Utah and Nevada because it used to just be Nevada it used to be the Nevada Utah territory um, but I guess I messed up and I can't really fix it now they're fighting for some land Francis I think we're Schlesian oh Austria is fighting for some land Oh, Civil War started. So let's see how that worked. <laughs> Why is Minnesota... Why... Why is Minnesota... This is the thumbnail. This is definitely the thumbnail. Um... Why... Why is... Seriously. First of all, why is Minnesota a slave state to begin with? Second of all, what why is it a part of the CSA? So Missouri did not flip but Kentucky did. It's important to note. Why did Minnesota switch? And the thing is that America is currently invading Mexico too, so they have to devote troops to that. Oh, Austria expands, so they won that province. That's good for them. We may have too many... F yeah, we have too many craftsmen right now. Let's devote money into this factory. And then let's change probably to... Oh, um... Let's do consumer goods. We don't really need any more of any one. We could have more capitalists. We could always have that. But I guess let's just do consumer goods because that's the best. Because our co our country needs consumer goods, but not really weapons. Too much so, at least. Let's encourage, actually, some bureaucrats. Better taxation. Okay, so we have that. So now let's go with probably naval base. Yeah, let's go with naval base max level. That way we can expand our naval range. Uh, if we need to, of course. So the North is losing the war, so far, at least. Come on, give us the colonial negotiations so we can start colonizing. They've taken Pittsburgh. Huh. Minnesota's still up there doing nothing. So California's still part of Mexico, but Arizona and, you know, Salt Lake City region, also known as Nevada, are not. Oh, Minnesota's being invaded. Everything's lost for the South. Are they technically the South anymore? I mean, Minnesota's not really South.
We're losing a bunch of money. Okay. Um, raise taxes on the middle class. They're still handling everything fine. They're getting their everyday needs. Okay, we can build another um, unit. So, probably a guard. Let's do that. Very few games can I actually play the colonial game. Because we're always either a terrible tech group or too far away. But here we're a secondary power and we're almost... And we're within range. So we can do it, but we only need... Um, so we already researched this, but this, um, like, we'll, re we'll get this after a certain amount of time. It's random. So, um, yeah. Eventually we'll get it, hopefully. Oh, the North is fighting back. They're starting to win the war now. It's 30 to 0. The South has no troops. That's a big thing. Minnesota's lost. Arkansas, Louisiana. The South literally has no troops. Um, protectionism, probably. Yeah. Okay, we can now upgrade our naval base, which we will. There we go. Um, protectionism, probably again. Oh, research. So, if we look at this here, uh, breech-loaded rifles, in order to get this, we can increase it by certain values, like machine guns if we have, which we don't, economic responsibility and naval logistics. Um, so, we can't do that. What was the third one, or the second one? Uh, economic responsibility. That's probably in commerce. Yeah, no, we can't do any of those right now. So let's just hope it does it at a certain time. Uh, but other than that, probably... Maybe factories, probably better. Administration, input efficiency, let's do that. Historical theory. A thousand people a month. We'll get to one million people soon, hopefully. Wow! This was all close. Every party had about equal. But a coalition of conservative and reactionaries got 54% of the vote. 54. Wow. Most of the time, it's around 100. 19, we can get an alliance with the Pope. United States annexed Hawaii. 3% Yankee. United States is still mobilized. Um, yeah, the South has zero military power. So far, countries are not starting to colonize yet. So that's lucky for us. Like, Britain is in Australia for some reason. Uh, they're wasting it there, even though they're guaranteed those provinces. But no one is starting to colonize in Africa. Which is lucky thus far. So West Morocco or Maro Marotania are the only two provinces we can reach. Uh, like Sengal, we can't. Yes, we can. Never mind. Gambia, we can't. Nope, Sengal, we can't. So yeah. Marotania or the other one? Uh, Molten Sea is fine. No one's going to rise up against us. If they do, we have 24,000 troops to cover five provinces, so it's pretty safe.